Hey there, Dan. Oh, hey, Janie. How's it going? Oh, you know, I'm getting better after my surgery. The doctor says I'll still be here for a few days, though. Yeah, I'm the same. They're not letting me eat yet. Whee! What was that? There's another one. Wait, you forgot to sign. Oh. Why are you guys going so fast? <laughs> beep, beep. We're on the fast track. Woo! Hmm? Wait! Hey, Dr. Antrim. Oh, hey, Daniel. Here's that teddy bear you so, um, insistently requested. Thanks, Dr. Antrim. Hey, why are those guys going so fast? And what's fast track? Oh, you must mean fast track surgery. We call it ERAS. ERAS? Yeah, it stands for Enhanced Recovery After Surgery. So what's the deal with it? Well, let me tell you about it. Step into my classroom, guys. Just kidding, I don't have a classroom. Um, I'll be right back. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. So, ERAS is a program designed to help people recover more easily from surgery. But what's wrong with the way we're doing surgery now? Well, it's really not bad, but ERAS is designed to help patients recover better and avoid some of the common problems that patients can run into after surgery. These problems are issues with fluids, difficulties with pain, problems with eating, and trouble with mobilization. So normally, before any type of bowel surgery, we would stop patients from eating and give them a strong laxative. Yeah, that's what I had. I was starving and had diarrhea. Yep, it makes you pretty dehydrated. So during the surgery, we would give you a bunch of IV fluids to make up for my board! Um, as, uh, as I was saying, we, uh, we, we give you IV fluids during the surgery to make up for the dehydration, but often we give a little bit too much. Yeah, I had that. My ankle swelled up. And that makes it difficult for you to walk around. Then we would give you a bunch of painkillers like morphine. Works pretty well, but the side effects include nausea and vomiting. I was throwing up for two days after my surgery. Uh. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty common. It means you can't eat, and then the bowel doesn't work. And ugh. Those pesky residents come around every morning asking if I had poop. Hey, Dan, have you pooped? No. It's been a week after my surgery, and I still haven't pooped. Thanks for sharing that, Janie. So all of these factors combined means that recovery after surgery can be pretty slow and you have to stick around until you can eat, poop, and move. So let's look at what happens in the new ERAS program. We're changing what we do before, during, and after surgery. Before surgery, we bring patients in to talk about what's going to happen and make sure we're all on the same page. We don't give them laxatives and they can eat real food up until eight hours before the surgery. So I can have supper the night before the surgery? Yeah, of course. As long as it's just a light meal. You know, no donairs or anything crazy like that. And you can even drink some juice on the morning of the surgery, up to three hours before go time. Cool. Yep. Just prior to the surgery, we give you some painkillers and anti-sickness medications so that we can head these symptoms off at the pass. During surgery, we generally use smaller incisions, give less IV fluid, and keep the patient warm. We use less morphine and more epidural and spinal anesthetics. An epidural? That's the same thing that women get when they're having a baby, right? Yeah, it basically freezes the lower half of the body. It's really good at getting rid of the pain. Cool. After the surgery is the most interesting part. First, we limit the amount of IV fluid which is given, and we let the patient eat and drink right away. Sweet. Again, we don't overdo it, you know, no burgers on day one, just some light stuff. Oh, I'd kill for a burger right now. This is a great burger. Oh, oh that looks so good. We also reduce the amount of morphine that patients get and use multiple other painkillers usually given by mouth. We also use multiple different drugs for nausea and we give these before patients start feeling sick. That means less throwing up, right? Right. We also start patients on some mild laxatives so the bowel works quickly. And we get patients up and out of bed for a walk. Want to go for a walk? Do I? Usually we take the catheter out of the bladder in the first couple of days as well. I hated having that catheter in. So you can pee for yourself? Uh-huh. Wow. So the end result is that patients get better faster after surgery and they often go home sooner, which is good for us and for them. But wait just a darn minute. Are you guys just doing this to get rid of us faster? Well, not exactly. We're really doing this to help patients make a faster recovery, so they can eat what they want to eat and do what they want to do earlier. Why didn't we have the surgery then? We're just taking baby steps right now. Currently, we're using ERAS for bowel surgery first to see how it goes, and then we're planning to use it for other types of surgery too in the near future. 
awesome. Have you heard the news? Everyone's talking. Post them good, cause everyone's walking. Hand operation, but coverage faster. Lemon narcotics, like a master. I really like E-Rest, I'm passing gas. I'm eating all the food and I easily pass. Two days later, being the forecast, feeling like a boss. e is awesome. Stepped out of my bed, grab my skateboard. It's awesome to move. It's awesome to poop. It's awesome to poop. It's awesome to poop. Yep, that just happened. What just happened? Nothing. Okay. Well then, next time I'll have surgery, I'm having it done ERAS style. I'll have my skateboard ready. <sighs> Alright, back to work.